What's up guys and welcome back to our road to the show. We're back here for episode four, just kind of hanging out in the locker rooms in the clubhouse and uh, feeling pretty good, man. If we take a look at our stats so far, just do a, a little top down view here. We've had seven games, 25 at bats in those seven games, and we've had 11 hits out of 25. So that's batting 440, pretty solid. We've got a couple of runs. Six RBIs so far. Haven't jumped the yard yet, but uh, things are going pretty well, and uh, I'm liking it. We're kind of finding a home here with the fight and fills, I guess, and I actually I, I wanted to feel like I was truly a part of the program. Now, unfortunately, getting a fight and fills hat would take a couple of weeks, and I figured at some point we're going to be called up, so we probably don't want to get that, but your boy did cop this off of Amazon Prime. Now, I've got to admit, dude, I've got a massive cranium, and hats never fit me. So I don't know how this is going to go. can get a little hot in Florida too, so I don't think I really want to wear this for the whole series. But yeah, I thought it might be kind of fun. I saw it on my Amazon and I was like, hey, the Phillies, baby, we're a part of that organization. Looks like we've got a second series against the Bowie Bay Sox here. They got us last episode, but uh, it's not going to happen this time around. So they're four and five, we're four, or they're five and four, we're four and five. They're looking a little bit better than us. They definitely got us in that last series. I think it was a four game series we had against them. Maybe, maybe not. This is a three game weekend series and, and hopefully we're gonna be able to take at least two off of them, if not three, and uh, really kind of start to turn this season around. So it looks like we're gonna have one guy in scoring position here starting off. See if we can get him home. Four seam slider, change up at a two seam. Gonna guess that high four seam, hopefully we can get something, something rolling here. I try to check it, my bad, we're good. All right, let's go ahead and take our, uh, our seventh RBI here. If we can. Yeah, oh. Maddie, this team's in the grind part yes, sir. Right down the third baseline. That's going to be enough to get him home. That's going to be enough for an extra base, baby. Let's get us back into scoring position. And uh, maybe maybe the guy behind us is going to be able to uh, to make something happen as well. Here we go. Jalen Ortiz. He's got a full count here. So something's happening. We're running on everything that we see. Here we go. Just get a base hit and I'm home, dog. Just get a base hit and I'm home. I'm going, baby. I'm going. We're in there. Let's go. Starting off super, super clutch. Your boy was able to hold it down. Went down on a strike early, but um, able to able to clean up that at bat and ended up getting our team two runs out of it. That's pretty exciting stuff. Got a 4-0 lead. Bottom of the second with two outs here. Not the best situation to be in, but just try to make the most of it, I guess. I don't really like getting on base with two outs anyway because our, our boys usually end up leaving us hanging out there. That's low. Ooh, it's not low. Okay. All right. Two strikes. He's going to go with an outside changeup. Nope. Low changeup. That's outside. Outside slider. Okay. All right. One, two count here. Looks like he is starting to get a little bit tired and confidence might be waning a little bit. Got underneath it a little bit. Ah, pretty good swing timing. Decent hit there. We talked about it before. We just don't really have the power that we're looking for. But we're going to get there eventually. It's 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 not too bad. All right. Bottom of the fourth. It's a 7-3 ball game. Bit of actions happen. We've got a brand new uh, pitcher in here. Claudio Custodio. It's kind of a cool name. Four seam slider, two seam. Only three pitches to choose from. That's slow. Early lead into the count here. It's looking like he kind of favors the, the two seam more than anything else. I'm going to guess... We, eh. Late on that one. Got a decent piece of it, but... Just not enough. All right, here we go. That was a uh, that was a high four seam right there. I'm thinking like an outside slider. Yes, sir. I'm going to crush this. Way too out in front of it, dude. I power swung too. That would have been nasty. All right, he's going to go high four seam here. Try to put me down. That's inside. Inside two seam there. All right, he doesn't want a full count, so he's going to give me something good here, I bet. That's outside. We'll take it. Another outside slider. All right, give me that four seam right down the pipe, baby. Easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out and get down. There you go. Okay, we'll take it. All right. We're going to be fine. Oh, high four seam. 
Yes, sir. That's going to find a gap. That's another double. It's going to be kind of close. No, we're, we're good. It went all the way to the all the way to the wall. It's going to say. Might be a little bit close because we're not very fast. But um, all right, we'll take it, dude. So we're having a pretty good game so far. A couple of doubles to our name. Love to see it. I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm going to try stealing. Oh, got to get back. Got to get back. Oh, we're done. We're done, son. We are done, son. Now, here's the thing. I like I like stealing a lot because you get the bonus to your, your base running skills, and it, it makes you faster. That's one way to kind of train yourself. Obviously not the best choice right there, but we're going to be fine. So we still have Claudio up on the mound. Looks like he's really focusing on that slider, so I'm going to guess some outside sliders throughout this at bat. Ooh. Inside four seam. I'm going to be honest. I really don't like I don't like swinging it at inside stuff. Another one right down the third baseline. That's going to stay fair, and uh, I thought about going. I should have gone. You can't tell that, though. You know what I mean? You never know if he's going to have just a laser right to the right to the guy. We know something's going to happen here, so I'm just going to go for it. Get that extra stealing speed, and we're just going to keep on going just in case he drops it. He's not going to, though. 10 to 4, bottom of the 8th, baby. This is what I'm talking about. All right, we've got a, uh, a new pitcher here, Zach Muckenhern. All right, got a guy on first base with one out, four seam change up slider and a two seam. That's going to be inside. I'm laying off of that, even if it's a strike. I just, I, I'm, I'm bad at turning and, and burning on those, man. Got to be careful about those. Oh, yes, let's go. Let's go. Get there, Trev. Get there, Trev. We'll take it. Dude, I'm really liking that third base line, huh? Just ripping him over at that dude today. I don't know what he did did to us, but we're, we're straight up, you know, focusing him. All right. So this is going to be tough. Obviously, we've, you know, we're not a lead runner here. We're not going to be able to do much. We just got to stay here. He's going to end up striking out. So that's going to give us two outs. Got one more chance here to add a couple of extra runs before potentially... Putting them out of their misery here in the top of the uh, top of the ninth. Oof. Double strikeout. That's all right. I think that should be enough for the game. Yes, sir. Four for five. Two doubles plus an RBI. I'll take that all day. He's off to a hot start in his pro career. Absolutely lighting it up at the plate. I've got Sean Casey, the mayor, with me today. Casey. Is this an early indication that he's going to be a star? Well, I think the biggest thing when, when you know, you have to be careful sometimes with prospects because you got to let them play out, right? I think you got to let them develop in the, in the minor leagues, get some time under their belt. You have consistency because the biggest thing when you get to the big league level is that consistency day in and day out, right? So got to be you consistent. You can dominate man. at double A, but, you know, and not and, and get caught up too quick. And then the, then the third deck comes in the big leagues and the fa 50,000 fans are there instead of five. It's a whole nother ball game, you know? So I think the biggest thing is let guys develop, let them get the consistency, and when they get to the big leagues, now they're ready to, ready to play and succeed. I really hope we get called up fairly quickly. It definitely feels like there's a little bit... Squad gets a tip from one of his coaches. There's a little bit more of like a storyline happening here, so maybe we're not going to be grinding down here in the minors as long this year. We'll see. So uh, uh, when the time allows, Dirk, many players will work to improve themselves in the training facility or on the practice field. Yes, uh, coach, I, I'm aware of that. A acutely aware of that. We, we've, you know, been doing that already. I, I don't, I've been here for a few weeks. Like we're, we're kind of pretty solidly into the season here. I, I know about our training facilities. So, all right, here we go. See what we can do here, baby. These, uh, these Bay Sox have not been kind to us, but, um, Let's see if we can even things up. Got to get one more win on him. Here we go. Let's see what we got going on. Looks like we're going to be starting off with a similar setup. We got a guy in second base ready to get home. All we need is a base hit. Four seam curveball change up at a two seam. I'm just going to guess that high four seam. That's low. Good eye, Trev. Good eye. Okay. Looks like he really kind of works. I mean, really anything. Got out in front of that change up. Stay fair. No, dude. Are you kidding me? 
first game of this series, winning game two. I thought we were going to be able to go right down that line again there. That's outside on the curve. It's a pretty good looking curve, but not close enough to, to catch me there. Come on. It's going to come in with a heater. I knew it. All right. 3 1 count. We got him against the wall. Let's just be smart here, Trev. I would prefer to, to swing and get a hit. Thank you. Then get walks. That is not what we wanted, though. I feel like... I mean, that was perfect timing. I feel like... I guess we were kind of on top of the ball and just chopped it down. That was not very good. First defensive play of the episode. Here we go. It's going to be going to first base. Oh, it's a bunt. Come on. I can't even get there. Get him. He's safe. Unreal, dude. Who bunts like that? All right, so got a guy on first base. Advance a runner is going to be our uh, our goal here. Four seam curve, change up two seam, same thing going on. Looks like he's still got high confidence and good energy. I swung too early. I I, I try to stop and then redo it. It was too late. We're fine. Are you happy with that, Dan? I think this continues for a while. Here we go. Matt, both of these pitchers are throwing very no! strikes. Having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. On to first, and they turn the double play. Nice job on the mound. Good job, Trev. That's exactly what we were looking for. All right. So Same thing here. Connor Wade is, is balling out. Absolutely balling out. Destroying us. Luckily, we've had some pretty good pitching on our end as well. So, uh, I'm going to guess low change. Nope. Got that curve right at third base. Dude, I mean, it's baseball, bro. We're, like, we're putting the bat in the ball. We can't be upset about it. It's not working out for us, but that's just how it works. It's crazy to think that if you have 10 at-bats, if you get three hits out of it, you're doing a good job. That's all you could ask for. All right, so we're going to see if we, can, if we can possibly turn two here. Looks like we're expecting a bunt, which is exactly what we got. I actually think... I'm just going to go to go to first. I don't know. If they sent the guy on first base, if they sent him to steal, I don't think we're going to be able to get it second in time, so might as well just take the, the easy out. One nothing game. We got to win. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing really from my end, but I'll, I'll ride the coattails of our teammates. Ooh, we've got some, some training we can do here. So we want to go to the batting cage, the bullpen, the practice field, or the training facility. So we can work on our contact, plate vision, bunting. We can work on our sequence memory, palm ball, fork ball, slider. Fielding a reaction, speed base running, reaction. I mean, that, that one's really not that great. Or the training facility. We're gonna be able to work on power. I think I'm gonna work on, I'm gonna work on power here, for sure. Uh, it's something that we've been talking about for so long. All right, your goal is to do the most reps you can before time runs out. The more reps you do, the more tired you're going to get, making it harder to complete the reps. Repeatedly press L1 and R1 until the meter is full. Time to get this work in, baby. Ugh, get pumped up. Just, you know, took a giant shot of my G Fuel, giant swig. Mustache is all wet and crusty from it, and, and here we go. So I, I haven't done this in a long time. I'm, I'm hoping we're going to be able to do it pretty well, especially on the, the new controller. There we go. It's honestly more about about consistency of the L1 and R1 than it is about the uh, the speed. You just you really you really want to want to get it up there evenly. Ooh, that was smooth. See? Oh shoot! You gotta. Oh god! Okay. Here we go. It's all about being consistent, dude. Honestly, it's it's kind of tough. Like you can go too fast, and it the controller just like won't won't recognize it. I'm hoping 10 is gold, baby. I'm hoping 10 is gold. I'm hoping 10 is gold. I'm hoping 10 is gold. Oh, baby, we got gold. Let's go. Get 11, get 11, get 11. Come on, stroke it out, stroke it out, stroke it out, stroke it out. Oh my God, yeah, I can't, I can't get it. We are close, it's tough. All right, that is actually kind of hard. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. This is the story that has everyone in the baseball world talking. He's beginning his professional career as a two-way player. They're thinking of him mainly as a position player, making some spot starts on the mound too. Jonathan Mayo of MLB Pipeline is with me. 
Jonathan, what makes this so difficult to try a two-way experiment at the professional level, especially at double A? You know, Ben, uh, baseball is such a game of adjustments. When you're hitting only, you're constantly making adjustments. You know, for for this prospect going from the amateur game to the pro game, you're adjusting to a much more difficult level of pitching. And that's from game to game, from at bat to at bat. Now he's also has to sprinkle in trying to get enough mound time so he's ready for when that call comes for him to to get on the mound. I worry a little bit about him getting enough reps on, on the mound while he's hitting. He's a very talented player. He has the ability to do both of those things. I think it's going to be a matter of both he and his team giving him enough time both on the mound and in the batter's box to maximize his potential. I'm not leaving the gym, baby. Never going to leave the gym. <laughs> 